The MacBook Air is a line of Ultrabook notebooks developed and manufactured by Apple. The first generation was introduced in 2008 by Steve Jobs. It was a 13.3-inch model, initially promoted as the world's thinnest notebook. And the MacBook Pro. These are the standards in the industry by which competitive products are judged. Well, today, we're introducing a third kind of notebook. It's called the MacBook Air. Now, what is the MacBook Air? In a sentence, it's the world's thinnest notebook. This is the new MacBook Air, and you can get a feel for how thin it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. The latest, fourth generation, was announced in 2022, but today we are going to look at a model from the second generation. On October 2020, Apple released a redesigned 13.3-inch model with a tapered enclosure, higher screen resolution, improved battery, stereo speakers, and SSD. An 11.6-inch model was introduced too, offering reduced cost, weight, battery life, and performance relative to the 13.3-inch model, but better performance than typical netbooks of the time. In this video we are looking at a 11.6 inch model from 2015 or model identifier MacBook Air 7. It is the last MacBook Air from this generation with this design before 3rd general retina. And in the next general Apple didn't have a 11 inch Air, just a 13.31. Our unit has some battle scars on its body, but the price was £144 with shipping. If we go back in time to the Apple UK website with the Wayback Machine we can see that the price of the 11-inch started from £749. The specs of our little here are Intel Core i5 5250U CPU with Intel HD graphics, 4GB RAM and 512GB SSD. The software is Monterey. The CPU is with two cores and four threads. It is using Broadwell microarchitecture which is the 14 nanometer die shrink of Intel's previous Haswell microarchitecture. The base frequency is 1.6 GHz with boost to 2.7. The integrated GPU is HD6000, which is just an integrated graphics. The CPU and the GPU are nothing special, but the whole TDP of the chip is 15, which is important for a thin notebook with small battery. I was surprised that this air is with 512GB SSD. Most of them are with 126 or 258. I don't know is it the original or it was swapped during its lifespan. But the RAM is only 4GB, although we are talking about two sticks and dual channel mode. On second thought I'm not sure does the Air need more. This is a small and light notebook, it is not created for heavy tasks or gaming. But let's try how it is holding up in 2023. Obviously the screen is a weak component. It is small with small resolution. 11.6 inch with 1366 x 768 pixels and TN panel. The bezels are big. The bottom dot eats some space. Of course full screen can always be used to watch videos for example. The quality of the picture is okay-ish, but the viewing angles are not. At the top a 720p FaceTime camera is available. The quality is not bad at all. The notebook can be used for education and meeting calls. The power is sufficient. One of Apple big pluses is in the software. It is highly optimized. This notebook supports macOS up to version 12 Monterey, which was released in the end of 2021. Apple have a newer version, Ventura, but this Air does not support it. But I don't think that's a problem. Monterey is relatively new and not outdated. For everyday browsing and watching videos the air is sufficient. It can be used for writing. The keyboard feels very nice. 
and the overall build quality is very good. It is a pleasure to type on this keyboard. It has 16 levels of backlit. Newer Airs have butterfly-style keyboard and some people don't like it. And one last thing, small but cool. This MacBook Air has a backlit rear Apple logo. It is very cool. The ports of the Air are OK too. Two USBs, one Thunderbolt, an audio jack and a MagSafe power connector. The charging cable is held in place magnetically so that if it is tugged it will pull out without pulling the computer off of its surface. It was discontinued across Apple's product lines between 2016 and 2019 and replaced with USB-C. On the other hand, with a laptop this old, you can't rely on the battery. I conducted a test with a fresh installation of the OS, no additional software installed. In one hour of watching YouTube the battery dropped from 100% to 78%. It is not a bad result, but with the best possible conditions. In conclusion, I would say that this MacBook Air is a nice machine. It is okay to watch videos, surf the web and write, but the screen is small. A 13.3-inch Air will probably be more convenient, but it all depends on the price.